Yo, now we got. I went to a Chance the Rapper concert day before mm-hmm. Denzel Curry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I managed to purchase the VIP experience package Ooh. as well as a ticket, which means you get a you meet and greet for Chance the Rapper. Yeah. Now, first off the bat, I would never, I would never recommend you go to a Chance the Rapper meet and greet VIP. Um, or just any meet and greet VIP. I can't say I haven't been to any others. Uh, true, First true, opportunity true. I got, so I wanted to take it. Yeah, I would yeah, not yeah. recommend you go to a Chance the Rapper meet and greet in the future if he ever does it. Why? Let me explain. Let me explain why. The concert was amazing. I'll get to that after. That the performance was great, mm. soulful, beautiful, interactive. So many positives. Okay, one of the best I've been to. But the VIP experience. So they had us six thirty. You meet us at six thirty here. Um, um, and then we'll let you in shortly after, okay? Guarante- uh, early entry was guaranteed to the floor. Um, you have a crowd-free merchandise and some other perks that were really nice um, that, yeah, yeah. that people wanted to, to have. Uh, so I got there early, like at 1 p.m. early, realized I was at the wrong door, got to the other door at uh, 2 p.m. Um, because they were not clear on which door to wait outside of for VIP unless you walked around the whole venue and looked for yourself. Anyway, yeah. got there, cool, I'm third in line. Cool. I now another six hours, five six hours to wait. All right. So now there's about a uh, about a hundred people got the VIP experience yeah, um, yeah, yeah. for this Melbourne show. So I'm like third in line. Cool. Wait. Uh, like all day. Six thirty comes. We're not la- we're not still not let in. Um, Seven o'clock comes. No word. Seven thirty. It's been over an hour. And seven thirty is when they let GA in, right? And so when seven thirty they let uh, general admission in. That means we don't get early entry. How are we supposed to get early entry if they're gonna let GA in? So you waited. Six motherfucking hours to yes. not even get to the front. Yes. So, you, but you always at the front. Uh, yes. And you didn't get there. Now, if you see on my Instagram, you see like I use that as a platform to share my photos and experiences from these places. Mm-hmm. I love taking photos. I love it. All right. And I wasn't at the front this time. And fuck the photos at the end. At the experience changes if depending on where you're on the crowd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, luckily, this crowd was respectful and nice. I didn't get squished or anything. But. I would have wanted to be at the front because that's what I had planned and those were... F- fuck what I had planned. Those were the stipulations of um, the, the ticket, yeah. early entry, right? Uh, that uh, Those were not adhered to. We were let in past 8 p.m., meaning we waited... Uh, so 6.30, we waited over 90 minutes, 90 minutes to two hours. Some people at the back would have waited two hours um, from that 6.30 point just to meet Chance the Rapper. That's not even worth the VIP, though, if you ain't getting the seats that you promise. And on top of that, mm-hmm. this this interaction was extremely rushed. Did, I don't know. Did I tell you? No, I don't you think haven't, I t- you haven't the, spoken to me yet because we're waiting for this. We were waiting for this. The interaction with Chance the Rapper was extremely rushed. So they allow us into it. They, they like one by one. It's very like systematic. That chance of safety is the main priority. Understandable. Mm. Um, so you go into a room. You can see Chance at the end of the room. And they let uh, one person in. You have like stop points. Okay, you stop here. And then you let the next person stop here. Right? So I go, cool. Give daps to Chance. Chance looks... Uh, a little high, um, which makes <laughs> sense because I heard the the van that he came in was full of smoke and shit. I heard he from people late, walking. <laughs> yeah, he was late. That's why. So I the did. van pulled up at like eight p.m. and then we waited to be let in. So he was late. So we had to be. It was very rushed. So as soon as I give him daps, um, I started explaining the gift I bought for him. I bought him. Uh, I created for him a T-shirt. Said I met Kanye West. I'm never gonna fail. Actually, it's on me right now. You can see it. Right. I made this, but I put. It was a long sleeve version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had the good music logo at the front because obviously um, Kanye and him are very good friends and he's mm. family, good music family, family right? So I made that long sleeve version for him, albeit uh, it's probably too big, I realized. He's a smaller dude than I, <laughs> than I anticipated. Um, and then I made him a poster. That's dope, okay? I, As of five seconds into explaining the gift I bought for him, the gift that I spent money and time and energy on, I'm being, not that they give a fuck, but uh, the photographer is like, all right, I'm about to take a photo. Come on, let's let's go quick. quick blah, blah, blah. And five seconds in, and so I'm like, "Fuck!" Uh, I stop what I'm. I stop explaining what I'm explaining, and um, give him the gift. And then we take a quick photo. And I didn't get to ask him the question I wanted to ask him. You know, I had it planned in my head. I wanted to ask him X question about uh, you know, and uh, it was about a 15 second interaction. And um, that's not worth 280 Australian dollars to me. No, you would have got more time. It's just that, you know what they should have done when he was when they knew that he was coming late. They should have been like, "Look, he's coming running late. Sorry, gonna be no interaction. Yep, you can come in early, mm-hmm. get your spot, and we refund your ticket, and you just get charged for normal." Mm-hmm. That's what they should have done. 
I feel like it's not Chance's fault on this. I mean, it is his fault for being late, but I feel like it's more the people that organize its fault for not doing a better job. And the organizers is chances, chances, a plate people though. The, I, we talked to the venue and like, when's he coming or what's going on? Mm. And the venue staff said, we have nothing to do with this. This is, this is, um, his organization's doing. Like, they organize this externally outside mm. of the venue. Um, I see what you mean. This is why he's saying for when you get a chance, don't do it because it's purely these guys. Yeah, it's not shit. the venue. It's not uh, wherever it was, what, 170 Russell Street, wherever it was. It's not, mm-hmm. it's not them. Um, to my knowledge, it was the uh, Chance the Rapper uh, staff and group. And I emailed them multiple times, explained the situation, kindly asking for a refund. I got no reply. And um, fuck, you don't have to give me a refund. I'm not entitled to anything. But can you at least reply? So by that, I'm using this platform that we have, a mm-hmm. small platform to demonstrate... Uh, the story of what happened and the recommendation of not to do any more meet and greets for Chance the Rapper. And yeah, he's made probably hundreds well, of thousands of dollars from I it. I feel if Chance the Rapper saw this, he'd probably refund it because he's the sort of guy that like, if the tickets are too... Remember that thing where the tickets were too much? We re-bought all the tickets and sold them for cheaper yeah. to the public. Like, I'm pretty sure that if he knew, because he probably like, said he was probably high now, but if he probably knew that like it wasn't meant to be the way it was and the way that ways went out, he'd right. be like, oh shit, I feel bad for my fans, I'll buy that shit back. And I feel like he would do that. I feel like though when you're high, you'd give less fucks as well, which is why he didn't <laughs> yeah. seem like he wanted to be there. Like He didn't yeah. seem like he wanted to be there. He didn't seem like very happy. Man, uh, you, you can't force shit all the time. No, I mean, you I know, can't. No. He's met thousands of fans over the last months. Who knows what the fuck was going through his mind? Yeah. Who knew? Who knew what the fuck Kanye was doing? Who knows? Who knows? But... The experience of the concert was great. I, I kind of, I felt bad about maneuvering my way through the crowd. Like I, I realized, well, this is now I know why I spend all that time lining up, so I don't have to piss people off when I kind of cut in front of them. I don't like doing that. But I got to like f- four, or five rows back, six rows back. That's all right. And I, and I got a decent position. Um, I'm not, th- I'm not short, so it helps. Like yourself. Yeah, man. So easy for me. Chance gets on. People would go crazy, and he's just a beautiful performance. You know. He, he he's so interactive with the crowd he had a great energy the vi- the visuals the visuals and the actual experience of the concert was one of the highlights he had like the backdrop behind him was really great every song that changed it was perfectly timed every song that changed the visuals changed right there was no it was flawless performance right it's big smoke whoosh, that flew in the air like this gas smoke whoosh, I can't describe it properly you know it's doing the <laughs> Nobody can see me yeah. who's listening, but you know. And then on one of the last songs, confetti drops from the roof. Woo! The one of the soulful songs from Motherfucker's gonna clean that shit up. Coloring. <laughs> <laughs> it was everywhere. But oh, it was yes. like, Hallelujah! What do you close on? Mm-hmm. Was it no problem? I can't remember. Oh, you it was again. probably I think it was from Ten Day or something. Oh, it like, was it was it um I can't remember. Was it family? Family man? Uh, I don't know. I think so. Not family. Mom, my mama? Actually, he actually finished with kind of like a soulful kind of rendition of like, you know, did his own thing. Like he he, he kind of used the live band and the, the, the experiment, social the experiment. social experiment mm, um, on the fly to kind of, you know, do his own thing. You know, That's he'd so kind cool, of riff man. off them and like do humming and singing and stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah. great performance. One of the best I've been to. I'd really recommend the performance and concert very highly, but not the meet and greet. That's my experience from Chance the Rapper.